I don't have a criticism. Really? <laughs> I think it's hot. You're 18 years old, you're cooking like that. Incredible. They have just one hour to cook a two-course meal of their own design. Only one will win a place in the quarter-final. Susie's hoping to turn her life around and prove she has the skill to win. Susie, what are you, you going to do? A pan-fried sea bass with a sauce vierge, butter biscuits with strawberries and vanilla cream and a black pepper caramel. Interesting. You're pushing the boat out a little bit more. The idea of the black pepper caramel, tell me about it. It was laying in bed last night when I was thinking, what can I do to, to lift it above? And I thought black pepper and strawberries goes really well. So this bit's on the fly. <laughs> yeah, you know the danger of experimentation, don't you? I do, I do. Susie, going through lots and lots of processes, you know, really keen to show us how clever a cook she is. It's about flavour, Susie. Can you pack it full of flavour? Emily's pushing the boat out with some experimental dishes she's invented herself. Emily, what are they? They're roses and I'm going to um, crystallise them with some desiccated coconut for my pudding. Very good. Very interesting indeed. What are our two courses? Our two courses are seared scallops with watercress gnocchi. And then for pudding we've got a rhubarb soup with coconut creme chibouse and crystallised rose petals. Now look, this isn't anything you'd get out of a recipe book. Yep. Where on earth is this coming from? I suppose. <laughs> are you trying to shock us a little bit, Emily? Not shock. I just want to do something a bit different and show you that I can do it, I suppose. They are interesting dishes. Is she going to be able to get it right? A rhubarb soup with the crystallised rose petals. This is, it's not just food, this is art. I'm very, very excited. I'm also part petrified. <laughs> Only ten minutes left. After two difficult rounds, Holly is hoping to showcase her skills and knowledge with a classic menu. You've got a lot to prove today, haven't you, Holly? I certainly have. And what are you going to cook for us? Fresh asparagus with a poached egg with a sorrel hollandaise sauce. And for main, sea bass with puy lentils and salsa verde. Do you have that little something? that will make you a MasterChef finalist. I feel like I've got a really good knowledge already. I could turn this into a profession, which, you know, I, I hope what I will do. Holly, being very, very classical, I think that's very, very brave, but they have to be absolutely perfect. You've only got one minute left. That is it. Finished. And Susie proves she has what it takes with her sea bass couscous and sauce vierge, followed by strawberries and vanilla cream, butter biscuits and black pepper caramel. That couscous should have a little bit more sauce vierge so that you can actually make your couscous a little bit wetter. The fish is cooked beautifully, it's soft. The sauce is citrusy and sweet. I think there's some work to be done on the couscous, but I think your flavourings are, are good. The fish is moist, packed full of flavour, very well cooked. It does lose its way a little in the middle with the couscous. Bring in the pudding. The flavours and textures are lovely. You pick up the deep the caramel, you go into buttery biscuit and cream. You put a lot of work into your food, you're obviously a cook. A bit of pepper in there, a bit of spice which is quite nice. Lovely cream, really well-cooked biscuits. It all works very, very well together. The youngest contestant, Emily, wants to wow with two unique dishes. Scallops with watercress gnocchi, followed by a rhubarb soup with coconut creme chabousse and crystallised rose petals. I don't have a criticism. Really? <laughs> I think it's hot. You're 18 years old, you're cooking like that. Incredible. Everything's cooked very, very well. I, I can't criticise it, but it, I, don't, I don't love it like my good friend beside me. 
let's move on. Soft coconut shaboose, delicious. Flavour of the rhubarb, delicious. And then it just goes a little bit sweet from that rose water. It is almost absolutely there. Um, delightful blend. I don't know what's making you. Has Holly regained her confidence with her classic fresh asparagus, poached egg and sorrel hollandaise, followed by sea bass, quee lentils and salsa verde. How's our poached egg? It's just cooked, I've got to say. I like the idea of the sorrel with it because the flavour comes through. I feel like that hollandaise could actually be a bit more punchy. Sure. But not bad. The texture of the sticky yolk and the sticky hollandaise is great, but there's not enough lemon bite through the sorrel to lift it. Beautiful, beautiful soft fish. Really well cooked. It's very, very well done indeed. Thank you very much. Beautifully soft. Powerfully flavoured fish, absolutely right on the money. Bullseye. Thank you very much. We're going to have a chat about you. Off you go. Today, I think it's going to be very difficult because we have got three cooks who are very, very good indeed. We look at Susie's food. A little tiny piece of sea bass, beautifully cooked, lovely flavour on the side of it. No massive, massive mistake. Her dessert, I found it tasty. It's going to be really tight. I think I've been a bit unlucky to be up against two such good other cooks. The fish with the couscous was a nice dish, but she isn't packing the flavour of Holly and she's not bringing the style of Emily. I think, I'm afraid, it leaves Susie waving goodbye from the back of the bus, I'm sorry to say. Holly. Just about scraped through yesterday. Didn't have a brilliant kitchen round today. Wow, her food, John. Her food. There are no surprises going on in there, but that is proper grub. Saleable food is what Holly did today. I think that, that fish looked like it came out of a restaurant kitchen. It really did. Perfectly cooked piece of bass, fantastic lentils, not water all over the place. Really delicious salsa verde. We say to people, give us classic recipes, full of flavour, learn how to do that properly. Well, that's what Holly is doing. My confidence has come back and I really feel that I could win this and that would just be amazing. We go across to Emily's bench and we taste the first dish, the main course. I am very rarely moved to the stage where I say I have no comment. I thought it just danced around my mouth like magic. And that dessert, the cookery accomplishment that goes with doing something like that out of the brain of an 18-year-old is, I think, something quite extraordinary. I'm shaking, because I think she's awesome. I do, I think she's awesome. It's well known that genius is very close to madness, and I think her food is bordering on madness at times. I always had this sort of niggling doubt in the back of my head, I'm only 18, there's no way I'm going to be able to perform at a level that's the same as people who've been cooking for ages. The risk is such an extraordinary one. 18 years old, does she have a repertoire? Will she be good enough to go up against the other people who are quarter-finalists? Because Holly will give them a run for their money. OK, Holly or Emily? This is a tough competition, and we only can take one of you with us. Our quarter-finalist is... Emily. Congratulations. Oh, my God! Oh, no way! Congratulations. Oh, my God! I can't believe it! Well done.